presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you with your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Become immune to poison. Don't take anything personally. The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you're immune. You are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Yeah. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 208. NASDAQ off 34, S&P's down 19. Gold, gold contract down $21.80, trading out at 19.49 an ounce. We have silver down 88 cents, twenty-three dollars forty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck twenty-eight, seventy dollars fifty cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: a ten-year note up eight ticks, trading one thirteen ten. The thirty-year up, up twenty-two at one twenty-eight oh one. And good old king dollar, king dollar right now trading up fifty-six ticks, one oh two five seventy-eight. The euro is at. 109, the yen's at 141, and the British pound's at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had an ABC structure up in the SPY. It finished the ABC. Bomb is right to the, to the number two, which is pretty amazing. We take a look at this. You're going to see the SPY. Got up to this uh, 443.90. I believe that it was a it was about 444 something. Okay, bottom line, hit it, pulled back. You know, you can see the the volume is so light today. It's pretty amazing. So the bottom line is you don't have a lot of sellers out here. We'll see how this uh, shakes out. I expect some kind of a pullback to a consolidation. That's what I suspect we're going to have here. The NDX 100. Believe it or not, <laughs> this is, this one's a mind blower, man. Because even when I was saying it's going to go to that swing point, it's like you got to be kidding me, man. I mean, it got there fast too, man. I mean, you take a look at this. Bottom line, it got to the swing. The swing that we were talking about here was the 371.83. We hit 372.85. Now, what you had here is this: you hit the swing and you closed under it. Look at this one here. What's that one? That's 356, yeah. So when you do that, folks, what, what happens is this. You get to the swing. You fail on price. When you fail on price but you have the volume, all it means is that, yeah, you're going to get a small pullback, and it's going to go right back up to the highs that were generated out here uh, on Friday. That's how this shakes out. So that 372.85 is going to get whacked again. Gold. Gold contract continues to be on an ABC structure down to 1902. We're getting there slowly but surely. It's a big ABC down. Um, bottom line is that, uh, let me just look at this. I hope it didn't set up another ABC down. I don't think it did. Let's see this for a second. Hmm. What is that? That's, that's 264. That's 266. It did. Holy cow. Okay, hold it. Okay, so 
We have an ABC down in 1902 right now, but guess what? I just realized this just broke another one. So what do we have here? So this is 2075. What do we got? So you got, holy cow. Um, what's the, 75. We got a bucket a quarter. That's going to get you down to 1850. What's the bottom? Yeah. It's an ABC down in 1850. This broke, this broke with volume last Thursday. So now you get an ABC down in 1850. And your swing low is 1846. That's quite a setup, man. Bottom line, it is what it is. That's how that's set up. Now, if you do look at the XAU and the HUI, when I was doing the gold report this morning, you take a look at these. I'll show you something. XAU. This is what you want to look for. So you're down 451 right now in the XAU. You can see that monster volume on Friday. On Friday, we had a, a rebalancing all over the place, folks. The volume was monster. But this coming over here on the, is it the 13th? I believe it's, one second, let me go to the HUI. So I can see it better. We take a look at the HUI. It's right here. The strength, yeah, it's the 13th of March. So as we came off the lows, the 13th of March, that's your benchmark. Let me put this up here. And what's going to be intriguing is that it's real possible that we might get this volume today and have a, a nice ABC structure down. It, yeah, so right there, I expect the high of that is 229, the low is 213. That's where I expect we're going in the XAU, so that your benchmark there is the 13th of March. That's what you want to be keeping an eye on. We go into the note and bond market out here. Notes and bonds, they continue to want higher price, lower yield, no matter what the Fed's going to do. That's how they, this thing is set up. They've rejected lower price. Every time that they go lower, there's no sellers. Bottom line... You can, you can see the 10 year right now, you know, we made a low last week with 1.7 million contracts at 112.12. You're at 113.09. You did a deep retracement, no doubt about that, but might take your bill calls. Going to go back up the other side once again. And then if we get into the oil contract, oil contract out here trading at a price point of 7050 this is also in a consolidation, but a lower end, meaning that it wants to go lower and it's building costs for lower price. You can see this out here today. Uh, let me do this. Uh, I see we're rolling too. We're rolling on a monthly. This is the active contract, but we're rolling on a monthly. So what you have here that's game is 64 bucks once again. 64, five days ago you were down to 66. The 64 is game once again. So. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is down 206. You get the Nasdaq off 26. S&Ps are off, off 18. We'll come right back, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Trading down 220 with the Nasdaq off 32. S&Ps are off 20. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every trading day. Well, each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day. 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time has a great newsletter also, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You're going to see you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So no matter which one you use, bottom line, if it works for you, awesome. If for some reason it doesn't, 29th day, just let us know. You get your full money back. And as you get over there and you get Basil's newsletter, on that page also, he has approximately 11 webinars that you can go through and be educated to the hilt as to how we ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It was good to see you. It's been a while. Was it that fun? We had that, was, that was fun. Basil yes. and I went sailing, folks. We had some fun. It was... Yeah. Uh, you, t you talk about, and we didn't, we didn't even know it until that I was saying, hey, man, I'm going to Boston. Are you saying, oh, too bad, I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be in Newport. Well, we were both in Newport, and uh, bottom line is that we had a blast. We did, and we were very lucky with the weather. That particular second week of June, you never know. I know. We were very fortunate. It was fabulous weather. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, so what's the weather in the market now? <laughs> All right, so we're looking at the waves in the market. And, you know, as you know, let me just drag this across. In the Chapman wave, we try to identify the lowest low bar, and we count each successively higher peak. We alphabetize them. Each higher peak is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's that fourth highest peak, peak D. That's the objective, and that's where other things can happen. That's where we become a bit cautious. Well, lo and behold, on Friday, we, we went up to leg D in the Chapman wave. We've been long, and we are still long the core positions from October, but our trading position on the three times long, we got stopped out today. We've been taking profits, and now we, we're out. And we, I wanted to go short, but this is the reason why I didn't go short. Not just yet. I, I like to look at uh, moving averages, and the nine-period moving average above the 14, the higher it goes above the 14, 
the harder it is or it takes longer or it's a really serious decline before that green nine period moving average that's on the daily chart on the left that's the one right there crosses underneath the black 14 period moving average you'd have to go somewhere down to 33,700 33,600 I'm not saying it can't get there what I'm saying is that when this distance is very wide it takes a while it takes a whole process so there's another technique that I use if I can just find my chart there it is and that is a pattern that I look at which has a, a straight down move and then at a peak A or B in the rebound from that sharp move down that's where it turns around and it takes out that left side low so it's a process so in this particular instance what I am anticipating is that the top of 34,588 on the short term in the in the in the daily chart I think that we might get close to it but I don't, I don't think we're going to take it out in this particular move right now and here you are in the weekly chart we've got a, a leg D that's only a leg I have to wait all the way until Friday before I can say it's a P because if it takes out 34,588 the high of last week that just extends leg D so this is a whole process going on and you can see it in the other charts but most importantly what I am looking at is in if I go to something like PAVE and I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now PAVE is the ETF we, we had it once we don't have it anymore it's the global X US infrastructure development ETF and it's so interesting because when you're looking at the market if you think there's going to be a huge crash a black swan event it would be so unusual for this infrastructure area to be at a new all time high or in this case just a couple of points away um, it, that would be unusual so I do like this pattern very very much and that just says to me be ready for a digestive phase you've got stocks you know we, we've had um, artificial intelligence stock we've had the stock SYM for quite some time since the 21s it hit 53 the other day um, it's pulled back a little bit been taking profits um, got a core position but at this particular stage this is an look at this the weekly chart I mean it's just extended it's not overextended uh, in terms of looking at a parabolic curve if you're looking at the weekly chart and you can't really go by the, the monthly because this is really was an IPO so this is just the first big leg up in the monthly charts the first time it's it's gotten to this kind of an A from the beginning of, of a move so I'm looking at this I'm saying we're taking some profits another one that we took profits very nice profits in this this uh, symbotic SYM we took about a hundred uh, up to 120 percent profit in, in different positions we've taken profits there and we've taken some profits in bots we were in this in the 24s it hit 30 the other day round number high I always look at these round numbers but look here again the MACD the MACD is good the stochastics holding above 80 percent 92 percent the nine is way above the 14 I, I just something has something really economically bad has to happen for this all of these in the daily charts just to smash to the downside so I think it's in a process of digesting gains and then I think there will be a bit of a deeper pullback when we finally get some kind of a a turnaround that says the nine is under the 14 in all these cases but I'm just being somewhat careful here we've raised we've raised cash we still have very nice core positions and I'm just watching to see how this plays out I'm not happy that the uh, financial area is really still weak I like everything to go together I like the financials like the XLF to be in sync with the market and right now it really isn't in sync so we've got a very diverse market we've been fortunate enough to be in the areas that have worked but I'm also now looking at areas that maybe if we do have some kind of a consolidation these are other areas that should do quite nicely in this environment so I'm yeah, a little because cautious if we, here if we, if we get into a consolidation Basil as you said at the beginning I mean it's going to be quite a down trap I mean if you're going to get out of those moving averages I mean you know because yes. we went up so fast so I mean that's and that's like right. today so you can see the volumes really light man so it's like volume, okay right the sellers so I'm still not on out here yeah right I'm not just missing that we can't have points to the downside I'm saying it's a process and that I'm not getting I have to see it unfold I'm not just right. going no, to no, guess sure. right now that yeah. we're smashing the downside so it is a process I'm expecting residual strength is still there the rotational you know you've got a stock like Caterpillar 
why would Caterpillar be doing so well, very close to all time highs in this environment? So I don't want to get over negative. I know that there are a lot of, I mean, you put correlation, you can look at many things, and, but it's the rotational aspect that I think is really important because if we get those artificial intelligence and even stocks like Microsoft that's been influenced, Look, this has got a peak E. This looks like the 351 high in Microsoft made just the other day. It might break it by a little bit, but I think it's, it's starting a consolidation. So I'm looking at this very selectively, but I, I'm, I'm not very bearish. I'm just looking to go short on a sharp pullback at some point. Folks, get over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see uh, the opening call newsletters, the opening call right on the left-hand side. Just hit that button and you are off to the races. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow Industrials right now down 213. NASDAQ's up 16. S&P is down 17 and a half. Listen, folks, I'm sure many of you have heard about the, you know, the Titanic. And the folks down there, bottom line, you know, send a lot of great white light, a lot of prayers. It looks like they got about 40 hours of oxygen left. And uh, just listen to this, man. This is pretty intense. So there's a, there's a guy that has been down there four times already. Um, his name is Joe McManus. He's a, a renowned ex Canada explorer and a physician. He's been down on this exact same um, vehicle four, four different times. 
So these are the, these are the three things that are, are problematic, okay? You have a hull breach, a fire, or an entanglement. Now, a hull failure is catastrophic. That's immediate. It's a, it's a kind of an implosion. It's terrible, and unfortunately, that would be the end of their lives. The second two, however, can be managed. Fire emergencies are a little challenging. All good subs have firefighting capabilities. And then the third one, listen to this, man. Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, the third one, McManus himself, when he was down there, um, experienced what is called trapped by the doomed passenger ship and to break free. And this happened more than 30 years ago on a different uh, one that he was on. Listen to this, man. I was on his, my second dive to the Titanic. He was inside a Russian mirror sub, submergional when it landed on the floor of the Titanic pilot house and became entangled in wires. When it came time to go, we couldn't. It was, it was a thick adrenaline moment. I bet it was. Fortunately, the expedition was able to send a second sub down to assess the situation and help talk the chief pilot through the required navigation to wiggle free. Bottom line, they did wiggle free, and, you know, he's the, the guy made it. Imagine that, though. So, it, you know, we, we'll see. It looks like there's, there's going to be a, another submergible uh, by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, which they'd still have enough oxygen that's being flown in from France that will start diving tomorrow morning. So, going to wish them the best, man. Um, Damn, this is about as intense as you get. So McManus, uh, he did the work on the 1992 IMAX uh, Titanic, uh, which, yeah, Whew. that's about as intense as you get, you know. So send some good white light, folks. A lot of prayers, you know, because it's not over for those people yet. But damn, it's, it's about as heavy as you get. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume. Oh, no, let's go to Platinum first for a couple of the Tigers. So Platinum. Let's pull Platinum Contract up. Okay, so Platinum, we're trading 966. Okay, so now I get ABC down. It just broke the low with volume today. So let's see what we have here. 1,051. The 65, so we're talking about, about, about 910. What's that swing low? The swing low is 910. So this is an ABC down to 910. So that also wants to get down to the, uh, what is that, the, the 27th of February, that 27th February low. That's, a, that's how it looks. The cool thing here with Platinum, I can tell you this, when, you know, yeah, this is monster volume, it's the ABC down. But when you get volume that blows out early, it's good. That's, that's, but that's, that's the ABC structure going all the way down. Uh, the IWM, the small caps, we take a look at these small caps out here. So small caps, <clears throat> they're down 63 cents. No volume. I mean, I wouldn't be shot these things. I don't know if you're long a shot, but, you know, this is just this is pulling back with tremendously light of volume. 25 million shares. You made a high out here with 32, which is not a lot, but you're coming into that strength to come into is 58 million. And that price point is 184.96. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. This is going to be a low volume market out here today. You have, um, oh, here, let me show you this first. On Friday, you had, you talk about volume, man, but you can see NYSE 3 billion. On the NASDAQ, we had 8 billion. So you had a, look at that thing, 8.23 billion. And what that's all about, you, you know, basically you had a rearrangement of portfolios. And what ends up happening, of course, is that because the equity market has gone so well, the bottom line is that that's, that's what you had happening. And in spades, too, big time. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today. See what we got here. Come on. Oh. There we go. Okay, you got Tesla's up 12 bucks. 
You get uh, look at oh, Dice Therapeutics is up twelve. That's that's that's. He has a forty-six dollar stock now. Eli, oh, Eli Lilly's going to buy him. Okay. Um, PayPal's up two thirty-five. You get Alphabet down thirty-six cents. Let's go over to Toll Brothers. The amount of building <laughs> permits out here this morning was exponential. There's no doubt about that, man. And look at this, these builders, man. You're up a buck forty-six. You're trading seventy-four ninety-five. We take this, put this on a weekly. Okay, so last high had volume in a week of 12 million. And we did 9.9. .9. Let's just see this. 75.97. 75.61. You got to need a little more volume, but you're pushing into those highs with volume. This is pretty amazing. And it just, you know, shows what, what this is showing, folks, which is amazing. It's, let's go to Lana. It's showing that the amount of homes that have not been built are absolutely catching up with the market now because if this was you know I've, I've seen this happen before meaning you get interest rates that go high but when interest rates go high normally the home builders get smoked well they're not getting smoked because of the fact yeah 40s because of the fact that there are not enough homes you know that then the pickup has been pretty dramatic you know, the pickup even, you know, we build a lot of houses. The pickup um, has been, the, the calls have been pretty dramatic, even with interest rates at 7%, which is, but guess what? People have a lot of cash. You know, I just, I just came back from showing one that I just built. They just came in from San Francisco. Bottom line is that, yeah, it's, it's there's just not enough homes. That's, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. We go take a look at the uh, let's go take a look at uh, the COP HG because what's going on now is that you have Mark Bristow and a lot of gold miners are going to follow Mark Bristow. Um, he plans on getting Barrick Gold to copper in a monster way, folks, and he doesn't fool around. So you get copper right now trading three eighty nine. This is a nice setup, man. This is probably setting up an ABC up. Up until somewhere about 4, 418. Right now you're at 389. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow down 229. NASDAQ's off 19. S&P's off 19 and a half. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 230. Get the NASDAQ off 17. S&P's off 19. Let's go to Andrew in Helena, Montana. Hey, Andrew, how you doing, brother? Hey, Tom. I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Good. Hey, so I was looking at the Bido... ETF Bitcoin, and I was looking at some of the leaps, and I was curious how the dividend affects the the price of the the leaps going forward. Okay, so here, give me the symbol again. Uh, B I T O. B I T O. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So this is Pro Share Exchange traded fund. The ETF seek capital appreciation. There could be no assurance that the fund will achieve its. Objectives: the fund does not invest directly in Bitcoin. The fund seeks to provide capital appreciation primarily through active managed exposure. So where does the dividend come in here? I thought I saw a yield of like 34%, but I'm just kind of confused. Yeah, no, no, there's no, there's no yield too. on this. Yeah. There's no, yeah, you watching Tiger TV? I don't have it pulled up right now. I see. Okay. No, if you saw my screen, there's no yield on this. Okay. Thank Which you. would make sense. There's, I mean, there's, a, there's an expense ratio of a 0.95 of 1%. But it, that definitely okay. does not pay a yield. Because that's, that would be like, okay, how do they pay a yield? You see what I'm saying? That's the problem with Bitcoin in general, that the, more so the tokens, too. The, to the tokens, all the scandals that you've had is that, they, you know, they say that they hold a dollar, right? Now, mm -hmm. how do you hold a dollar? And they call them, they don't call them yield, they call them something else. But it's like, they, if they're gonna pay you five to 7% or 8%, where does that come from? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. that's why they're all imploding, because they can't, they, they, they have to come from somewhere, but the bottom line is, is that they don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you see how that works? Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's that's the that's the difference that you know these stable coins. You know, it, it's it's a whole rabbit hole that you can go down for sure. But I wouldn't be putting money in it. That's the bottom line. You know. Okay. You can trade. Right, well, trade, thank you. Trading Bitcoin's one thing. You can definitely trade Bitcoin. Okay, but there's no such thing as a free lunch. And unfortunately, um, there's enough. There's not enough people that are, you know, younger than 40 that have seen downdrafts and seen enough scams. And yeah. I don't blame them because the bottom line, you get caught up in it two seconds, particularly because of the way that it accelerated forward. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, but I think the biggest thing to always remember is that if you're on these platforms and the platform says that, okay, you know, if you exchange, if you do a stable coin, we're going to pay you, you know, 5%, 7%, 12% of the stable coin. Well, then you're just going to feel, okay, where is that, that coming from? Well, it has to be coming from someone else because there's no such thing. You know, in a bank structure, what ends up happening is that they're paying you interest because they're loaning that out at much more. Well, they're not loaning Bitcoins out at, you know, 30, 
You know what I mean? Because fractional banking, the way fractional banking works, folks, and this is what makes it so lucrative for the banks, is, uh, you know, you, you put $100 in the bank, and they pay you, you know, let's say they pay you 2%, right? Well, then the bank can lend out $1,000 legally on that, 10 to 1, and they can charge, let's say they charge even 8%. Well, that means that they just made 6% on $1,000, so they pay you $2, and they just got um, $60. You see the difference? That's, that's the system that makes money versus a Bitcoin system or a token system or whatever you know type of platforms there. It's it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible, man. So, yeah. How, how long have you lived in Montana? I've been out here five years now. Yeah. You love it? I grew, yeah, I love it. I grew up in Wisconsin, so I'm kind of uh, addicted to the mountains. I guess now that I've been out here. Yeah, I got to get out there. That's only one of the states I haven't been in, man. And it's so beautiful. It's unbelievable. I, because I'm, a, I'm addicted to nature myself, man. So it's like, oh. And, you know, I, I was in the mountains for a long time when I was a kid. And I know what you're saying, man. I got, I got lost once in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. And that was a little scary. <laughs> I, 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 found, I got back out. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a full day. It was like 19 hours. I got back out because I found... Um, I, I followed a wire, you know, there was that, I finally saw a wire. I saw, oh, I got to change to follow that wire. And I got out. I was very happy yeah. getting out, but yeah. <laughs> seriously. Yeah. Just head downhill. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I was, I headed downhill to a valley, but it was so deep in that I was, you know, I was, it was, this was, it was right outside the Grand Canyon. That's where it happened. Cause I was camping in the Grand Canyon, went hiking out in the morning. Everything was fine. I was out there three or four hours. And I had two dogs with me, and I should have followed. One dog turned around, and one didn't. I should have followed the dog that turned around, because he was home, you know, 13 hours before I was. But anyway, pretty oh. cool. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, a safe one. Yeah, thank you, too. Thanks, man. Thanks. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at some of those financial XLF. So... Financials out here. What do we have? The XLF right now, that's trading at 33.18. Okay, so this is just coming up to, well, it's actually, it actually took out a swing with volume. Yeah, this thing's, see, this thing's, this is, this is building cause to get over this uh, swing point also. It, it, it already got over the swing of 33.53. It's pulling back with light volume. I'd say this is building costs to get through this area again. This is wild, man. I mean, that's how it's set up. You can see last week, actually, I put this on a weekly. It's going to need a lot more volume for this downdraft, but that's what normally happens. Normally, it takes two or three times. But you can see what it did. Last week, we did 238 million shares versus, oh, versus 239. You're going to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, 239 versus 238. Hey, it's better than it's better than something lighter. 239. Oh, no, it's the exact same number. Listen to this. 23903. 23949. So it was just slightly under. This is this is building cause to try to get into higher price. JP Morgan, we take a look at JP Morgan. That's at its highs, not at its highs. That's at the high of a consolidation. Okay, so this is doing the same thing. This is a pretty good shape, actually. It's going to need more volume to get over this 144 area. We hit the 143.90 last week. So this will consolidate for a bit more. That's how, it's, that's, that's how that baby's set up. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, look at this, I love it. The Dow Industrials down 191, NASDAQ went positive, that's up one and a half. S&Ps are down 13. Let me show you something on the S&Ps, because this was, that, that the, the E-mini, right? I should have done this earlier for you. The E-mini, this had volume up at this high. See this right here? When they had the spike earlier, that had volume up there. At the, what, 4444. Four, four, four. Was it 444? Four, four? 
Yeah, four, 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 four. That has that had volume earlier today. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, and I want to thank Jambalaya in the den. And Andrew, I apologize. Uh, Bitto does do a dividend, man. I don't know how they're doing this, but okay, I found the dividend. And they did, they paid a monthly dividend loss. This is, they paid monthly. They paid last month 9.9%. So I, I, don't, I don't know how this works, but you are correct in the aspect they do pay a dividend. Um, indicated yield, I'm not quite sure, you know, what this yield means because it says 32.58%. And that's what you probably saw when you saw 34%. And the dividend frequency is monthly. So I, this man, I, You'd have to do more work on it yourself to really figure this out. Um, let me look at this again. But that's that's pretty wild. So they must lend out Bitcoin or something. Well, actually, they don't. They don't even invest in Bitcoin. A Bitcoin strategy ETF. The holdings. Let's see what the holdings are. The whole. Oh, I see the holdings of futures. Okay, so you can see the top one's 33% for the June 23 futures. 16% July futures. Other assets are 23%. And then they get a bond of 26%. Yeah. Just be careful, man. That's, that's the bottom line because when you... Yeah, but you, you were correct, man. <laughs> it's a total mind blowing. 9% in one month, right? 
That's, that's pretty wild. There's no doubt about that. And let me B-I-T-O, because, you know, I want to see. I bet they're taking money in hand over fist here, too. Let's see the market cap. Well, they're not at a billion dollars yet, but that, that's their $897 million. So that gets some action going, no doubt about it. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks, a safe night. Great to be back home. We got a full programming going all week. We got Powell speaking tomorrow morning. Uh, bottom line, Tommy, join him 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.